Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. The fastest way I find to enter commands is by typing one or two letters that are called aliases. For example, I'll type the letter L, and that starts the line command, and I can draw a few lines. Or I can type C, and that starts the circle command. And uh, let's see what else is there. A for arc, and for drawing arcs. Not just for drawing, but also for editing. So I can type E for erase, enter in all for all entities, and they're gone. How do you tell which letters execute which commands? Well, there's a couple ways of doing it. One of them is to type a letter at the command prompt, and up pops a list, a handy dandy list, of all the things starting with L, in commands and aliases. So at the top here, we can see that L starts the line command. Next in order, LA starts the layer command, and so on. Another way to find the list of all aliases in BricsCAD is to use the Customize dialog box. I'm going to click Tools, Customize, and then choose the Command Aliases tab. Here you can see all the aliases included with BricsCAD, which is, uh, I think, about a couple hundred. These headers are useful for sorting. Here it's sorted alphabetically by alias name, and then reverse sorted. Same thing, Command and proper alphabetical order. To create your own aliases, you stay in the Customize dialog box. Click the Add button, and here's this little dialog box in which you type the one, two, or three letter combination you want to use at the alias. I'm going to use J because it's not yet used. And then I'm going to choose the command to associate with J. In this case, the Join command. To get there, I click the arrow, I type a J to get quickly to the first command starting with J, choose it, and click OK. J is added, and I can now use it. Every time you complete a customization of BricsCAD, you should always test it to make sure it works. Here I'm going to do just that. There's our join command. I'm going to click OK to exit the Customize dialog box, and then I'll type in the J and notice that BricsCAD immediately recognizes it. Press enter, and there you can see the join command starting. Success! I'm going to end this video with a technical tip, how to get at the PGP file. This is the file that stores all the alias definitions. I'm going to go back to the Customize dialog box. Click Tools, Customize, Command Aliases, then up here you can see it says Program Parameter File. That's the name that contains them. Now, the easiest way to get at it is to do this. First, highlight the whole thing. Now, this is a trick that's hidden in BricsCAD. You wouldn't normally know about it. Con press Ctrl-C to copy that path and file name to the clipboard. Now, I'm going to switch to File Manager, and I'm going to click here, and con press Ctrl-V to paste the path. Now watch happens, something magical. Notepad opens up with this PGP file, and in it are all the aliases, including the ones that you may have customized. So for example, there's the join command that we customized in there today. You can add your own aliases directly to this PGP file, and here's the steps you need to do it. For this part, I'm going to create the alias last, L-A-S-T, for the last point system variable. I'm going to mark the spot in the PGP file, press enter to create a new line. Type L-A-S-T, comma, a bunch of spaces, asterisks, and then the name of the command, or in this case, system variable. So, there we've added it. Now I'm going to uh, save this, and then switch back to BricsCAD. In order to load this file, you enter in the re-init command. Okay, BricsCAD asks, do you want to load it? I say sure. 
then I type LAST and notice that the alias is recognized, press enter, and there RixCAD is reporting the last entered 3D point. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.